Welcome back. So since we get an unauthorized here, we have to figure out how to actually get the users. And if we go into the index.js file right below the API one, it actually tries to explain us a bit about the different types of access we can get. Now we need to create a user. So there's an access point here that says you must pass in an access token or a bearer token. The same for this guy and this guy. And then you have different levels. You have the master, you have an admin and you have a user access, right? We have to figure out which one to use to actually create um, the first user in our system. So if we go down here uh, in our code, we can go into users and we can go into the index file to see what kind of areas. And we do need to do a post, right? We need to create a user. So how do we do that? Well, it seems it's using the master access point. So it says API permission master and you have to be in the group of user. So we just have to use a token, an access token to actually get into this. Now, all of this is documented on a site. So if I go into a site and I look here, how to create a user sign up, right? How to sign up the first time. And he actually says, use code, post, yada, yada, yada. So if you have a tool on your Mac or on your Windows machine that can do a curl command, then you can actually do it with this single line, then you'll create your first user, right? But you need to add a master key here. So we'll do it from Postman. Okay, so we'll grab this entire line right here because that's the user we want to try and create. And he says to find the master key, look at something called .env file. So let's open our code again and look at the .env file right here. This is the file and I'm going to keep mine this way so you can use my code if you want to. But this of course needs to be changed before we go into production. I hope that makes sense because I don't want everybody to know this key because then they can start creating users. Okay, so let's copy this line right here. But first, let me go into Postman. We said it was a post request. I'm jumping a bit back and forth between the code here. <clears throat> so let's go into the index.js again. It's a post request. I can see that here to create a user, post request. Going into Postman, selecting post instead. Then I get a body. Let's get rid of that one. So what I need in the body, I need it to be raw, I need it to be JSON, and I need the parameters right here. That was the ones I took from his site. So first, let's add an email. Email. And I can put in anything here, but let's just copy his, the test example. There we go. I'll just fill in the rest of them. So I fill in them all. I keep the password one, two, three, four now, just to show there's actually some validation about the password. Now the last thing I need is the master key, and that's just by going again into the dot environment down here, dot env down here. I'll copy this guy right here, the master key. There's also a JWT. We'll get back to the Java web token, JavaScript web token later. That key is also required, but now let's just grab the master key. I'll take the master key, I'll paste it into this guy's the access token. I'll just remove the last comma here and I'll do a send. And hopefully something happens. It actually gives me a reply that something is wrong. Your password is not long enough. You need to be at least six characters. That's why he in the example do five, six here. So now I can actually create the user. He gets an ID, he gets a name, he gets a picture. That's actually for free, just the avatar and he gets an email and he gets a created date. So now the user is ready to use and next lesson we'll try and use that to actually show our users by getting an access token. See you next time.